Hi, um, I want to do a quick demo of a, a feature that I've been able to create from ChatGPT, which makes blogging results from ChatGPT actually work uh, the way you'd like the, it to work. So here I am, I have a page where I've done a couple of queries and I need to slide this down a little bit. And if I click the chat save icon here, yeah. And it, you can see it's opened up. Um, see, it's a file, scripting.com, public folder, chat, GPT, et cetera, et cetera. And it's an HTML file and served uh, from Amazon S3. And that's it. <laughs> now, how did I do it? Uh, first, I used a bookmarklet that uh, I have a link to in the blog post for this so that you can try that out. And... Then I wrote a script that runs on my desktop that watches my downloads folder for files that begin with chat underscore GPT underscore, which is the special string that goes on the files. And then it copies them to a place which gets synchronized with S3. Not saying you should use do how I do it, but I'm just trying to show you. This is a very nice sort of way uh, before this all you could do was screenshots and not only is that very laborious ridiculously laborious it's also bullshit <laughs> it's like it's not the web the web is text i mean you know use pictures for things that are pictures to use a picture for text i think it's time we woke up a little bit and realized how stupid this whole situation is and it is ridiculously stupid this helps us work around that. And by the way, ChatGPT is phenomenal. I keep discovering new uses for it. Fills voids in what Google does um, that Google will never fill because, I don't know, because they would lose billions of dollars if they did. They don't give a shit about that at ChatGPT. And hats off to them. You know, for example, I discovered today that, uh, you know, thesauruses have never worked on Google. And I say that. And I know it's weird to think that, but it really is Google's responsibility to get us a good thesaurus. If there isn't one out there, then somehow tilt the, the uh, algorithm so that the people will be incentivized to create them. And if they put too many ads on them, drop them down. <laughs> you know, If Google wanted to make the web be better, if they really gave a shit, it would be really easy for them to do it. Yet, right now, uh, there's no good thesaurus. There's no place where I can point to a, a um, authoritative, intelligently written, not too much, not too little thesaurus on the web. And here it is 2023. We're like so deeply into the web now. If it hasn't been solved yet and it's a stupid, simple problem, then exactly when do you expect it to be solved, Google? Maybe you should stop worrying about the things you worry about so much and start giving a shit about the garden you're keeping, which is why ChatGPT is kicking your ass. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.